Hi everyone, Sif Alchemist here. It's a beautiful morning. I'm heading to the beach to breathe in fresh air, to observe the water. And here we are at the beach. Let me show you this beauty. It's hiking in a park. It's going to a nearby park that has trees, that has greenery. And I do have greenery as you can see here. There's trees and there's greenery. So remember, it doesn't have to be something crazy. It's just something that's representative of nature. And that helps me charge myself. It helps me remember the fact that I need to be grateful for what I have. And it's also just uh, something you can reflect on. So connecting to nature in any shape or form, like connecting to the beach, is something that I have to do. It helps me recharge my energy. It just also helps me remember, appreciate what I have, appreciate nature, observe it too. Let's observe the water. How does it work? The birds, like this bird over here. Observe the water, observe the birds. See how nature behaves. Because it's something that we forget to appreciate as human beings. And as a mage, you have to be aware of these things. This helps me in my readings as well. When someone orders a reading from me, a session, anything, it could be tarot, it could be channel in a sigil, it could be a consultation, then I have the right energy for it. It's like I have something to give back. But imagine you ordering a reading from me, and imagine if I spend every day just between walls. You would like it, you would like me to give, me the, to give you the reading, because I'm not harnessing the energy of the universe, I'm not har harnessing the energy of nature. So that energy helps even remove any negativity or evil eye or any toxic uh, behavior or toxic thoughts that I might have picked up from somewhere. If it's in me, this helps me get rid of it. And I combine this connecting to nature with working out, running, eating healthy. For the workout, I try to keep it consistent like three times per week is necessary to go to the gym running also once per week for long distance i try to keep it consistent like at 10 kilometers once per week if it's not 10 and maybe it's eight or nine in the range of between eight to ten kilometers per week i just try to keep it consistent and also eating healthy so combining these helps me take care of my body, of my soul, and then my practice can be fruitful, it can be beneficial, it can be actually successful. So when I channel spirit, when I try to connect to a spirit, to a guardian spirit, to, to a soul that has passed away, when I, if I try to channel a past life, it comes clean. It's not, um, it's not disturbed, it's not interrupted by noise and by the people and by distractions of every single day now let me tell you this is not easy to do i know that it's probably hard for most of people for most of you to say well you have the freedom you have the liberty to wake up every day and do whatever you want and just go anywhere you want but mind you and i have i have addressed this in my previous videos many many times I had to make a sacrifice to attain this kind of lifestyle. Years ago, I had to leave everything behind. My job, my corporate job that was paying me well, my house, my car, my entourage, my friends, 
even the relationship I was on. I had to leave everything behind. It was, it was a huge tower moment for me, but I had to do it. And I did it, and it's thanks to that. I mean, it was not easy, but thanks to that, I was able to have the freedom and the liberty of doing anything I want and eventually become the mage that I am today. Because people nowadays, they just say, oh, well, I'm a mage, I'm this, I'm that, which is fine, it's totally fine. It's, it's okay if you feel that's who you are, but then you have to apply it. There's a difference between knowing who you are and applying who you are. You can know who you are, yes, you're a witch, you're a mage, you're a practitioner, you belong to a certain bloodline, but then how do you apply that in your life? For me, when I kind of had a glimpse of who I was, I had to apply it. So I had to make a sacrifice in order to attain this kind of lifestyle. Now, it was not easy in the beginning, it was hard. I went through a lot of hard times because I was comfortable, I was in my job, I was in, it was a corporate job, I was making good money and all of a sudden, here I was, jobless. <laughs> and I had to figure out a way to survive doing what I love. And in the beginning, that's not easy, that's always hard. Because some days you wake up and you find that you don't have a home or you don't have money and you don't know where you're supposed to go. So living life like a nomad and having this kind of freedom comes with a price. But if you want it, you can attain it, you can have it, but it's not gonna be easy, it's not an easy road. It's like the fool, the fool's journey in the, uh, the major arcana in tarot. As I have mentioned in my uh, videos, the fool is the pilgrim of the grand work. He is the spirit. That's why he's the air element. He goes with the air. And he's supposed to go through the 21 major arcanas or the 21 stages of transformation. So sometimes he is gonna be the emperor and sometimes he's gonna be the hermit and sometimes he's gonna have the wheel of fortune. So sometimes, yes, you're gonna be abundant, you're gonna have money, but some other times you're gonna have a tower. <laughs> and some other times um, you're gonna have justice or judgment. So, so these are all stages that you're supposed to go through as a fool, as a pilgrim, to find out who you are, to know who you are. And that's exactly what I'm doing. And if you feel drawn to do the same thing, then just think about how can you apply what you are or who you think you are. Whoever you think you are, how can you apply it? What should you do to apply that in your life? For me, it was leaving everything behind and chasing a lifestyle where I'm free, where I can do whatever I want. Again, it was not easy, it was hard. It had a lot of learning, a lot of experiences, a lot of struggle, but I'm still going forward on my chariot again. <laughs> Major Arcana number seven. I'm still going forward on my chariot and trying to find the answers that I'm looking for. It's an alchemical quest for me. It's an alchemical journey of transformation, of finding my own Philosopher's Stone. But it's never an easy road. So for you, do you want to become, let's say, a witch, for example? What are you going to do about it? You want to become a, a practitioner of some sort. You want to become a healer. What are you going to do about it? Are you just going to sit at home every day, still go to your job and say, oh, I'm a healer, I'm a healer? You have to show the universe that you're willing to actually become that healer or become that witch. How can, you have to prove to the universe that you're willing to do the work. That's why every time when I say you have to do the work, that's what I mean. So what are the actions you're going to take in order to become who you are, in order to attain that freedom that you desire? And it's not going to be easy. And it's going to come with a lot of trials and tribulations. And you have to be okay with that. So transformation is a hard journey. If someone comes and tells you it's easy and you can just do it, it's fine, you become free and... No, it's hard. <laughs> Unless, listen, if you have in your bank account millions of dollars and you have the, the financial means, and these financial means, they never run out, they're always there, 
then by all means then it's gonna be easier because you don't have to necessarily think of a way uh, to uh, make money to survive but uh, this is the thing true transformation will have to teach you how to make your own money that's how spirit works meaning that spirit is not gonna give you millions of dollars until you all go ahead and transform <laughs> that's not how it works look at the journeys uh, of the ancient saints what they had to go through Buddha was a prince he had all the money in the world but he had to leave it behind and he lived like a poor man and he had to do all of the hardships of humanity he had to learn them in order to attain enlightenment same as for Jesus same as for all of the other sages uh, to mention a few so your transformation will never come easy it's not like the universe is gonna give you 10 million dollars and say oh go ahead do your transformation travel anywhere you want and stay in five-star hotels it's not gonna work like that because the universe wants you to see if you can go through transformation and still manage to figure out a way to survive on your own that's what the master is a master knows everything a master is a master of magic it's a master of the spiritual plane but it's a master in the physical plane so yes sure you're a master in the spiritual plane you can meditate you can uh, do yoga but how about the physical plane how are you mastering uh, surviving how are you mastering making money to survive how are you mastering your body are you eating healthy are you taking care of your health you know so the problem that many people uh, fall for is they think it's only spiritual but the transformation and enlightenment is not gonna get achieved if it's if it's only from the spiritual side it has to happen on the physical side as well in, and that is represented by you learning how to become independent how to survive how to make your own money because money is important to survival so you have to learn these things and that's why I'm telling you it's a tough journey it's not for the faint-hearted and if you really want it you're gonna go through some hard times and you're gonna have just to be strong enough the strength card and here again another stage in major arcana, uh, as a major arcana strength card there's gonna be a stage where you're gonna have to learn how to be very very strong it's also part of transformation and some other times you're gonna have to hermit like for me I was hermiting for months and months because I needed it I needed that hermit phase in my life and now I'm un unhermiting again and that's why I'm here try to explore new places new locations and the hermit phase helps you figure out things it helps you uh, realize who you are it helps you um, learn new knowledge it helps you become a better practitioner but then it, that's just a phase and then you're gonna have to learn how to get out of the hermit stage on hermit because the hermit stage can become a very comfortable uh, uh, place to be at because you're always basically at home yes you do go out to do certain errands and certain things but you're always comfortable you're always doing the things that please you you're you're doing your research so it becomes tricky it can get kind of tricky so you have to learn how to get out of the hermit phase it, to go from that the phase where you're just by yourself and you're introverted most of the time to becoming kind of extroverted again but that's just part of being a master you have to be able to adopt various facets of life it's the same thing in astrology when people say oh I'm Leo I'm Virgo I'm Pisces or whatever it's like yeah that's cool but that's your foundation you came to earth as a Leo you came to earth as a Pisces you came to earth as a Gemini sure but the goal of the master the final goal is to embody all of the signs is you become all the 12 signs sometimes just like in the major arcanas of tarot sometimes you're gonna be Aquarian and the Aquarian energy is gonna be necessary and some other times the Taurian energy is gonna be necessary and some other times the Gemini energy is gonna be necessary so for each phase in your life you adopt it's the same um, in alchemy actually the fool uh, card or the fool the, the pilgrim of the grand work he's also he has another nickname you know what he's called he's called chameleon 
because he every time he's in a different phase he's a, he adapts sometimes he's the high priestess sometimes he's the lovers sometimes he's death sometimes he's the wheel of fortune he's also called the chameleon that's why masters in general that are enlightened when you talk to them and maybe some of you have you find that they're just they know everything and they're good at everything and they understand every facet of life without any judgment they would just understand if you talk about social life if you talk about politics if you talk about spirituality if you talk about the youth and what they're going through if you talk about elderly what they're going through if you talk about the world about planet about nature but also if you talk about spirit they, they they're able to talk to you about every kind of uh, aspect of life not just oh I'm not interested in this so I don't I don't approach it I don't talk about it they're chameleons they're like major arcana fools they know how to adapt for each necessary phase you adopt the personality necessary for that stage <laughs> and this unfortunately goes against what humans are taught to be because you will be taught that you should be one thing that's why astrology is so popular nowadays you are this oh I am a Virgo yeah I am an Aries that's who I am and I swear by it and I'm nothing else I am a doctor I am a lawyer and that's who I am and I cannot be anything else I am this and it's the only thing I can do and you can't tell me that I'm something else if anything the highest level of education that someone can attain is a PhD you know what that means PhD PhD stands for the PH is philosoph and the D is doctor two opposites philosophy and science so the highest level of education and this is officially speaking by societal norms they acknowledge that you have the highest level of education if you can be a philosopher and a doctor at the same time that's why PhD that means you're using equally your left side of the brain and your right side of the, of the brain that means you can be a philosopher an artist a creative but you can be scientific too at the same time and you're actually merging them together which is what alchemists used to do which was the main duty and quest of any alchemists in ancient times it was to harmoniously combine the spiritual and the physical as you're conducting your metallurgical experiment trying to transform base metals into gold you're also transforming your spirit at the same time simultaneously and also another thing is that the fool another interpretation for it is that he comes after the 21 stages in alchemy he's known to be at the beginning he's he's the one who goes through the 21 stages of transformation but then the fool another meaning for him or her is that that major arcana comes after the 21 cards after the world card because you're liberated you're free and that's why it's also the air element again so you become free and you become like spirit and you become like the fool and the fool is the one who dares to do anything and he or she has nothing to lose and that's why they win in life because they're because when you have nothing to lose you can do anything you're free you become liberated so the beauty about the fool card or you because the fool is each one of us trying to go through their journeys of transformation that's who the fool is it's you me it's everyone the beauty of the fool is that yes he's supposed to go through the alchemical transformation through the stages of transformation but at the same time he's that enlightened being who goes through all of the stages and then becomes enlightened becomes liberated so it's both the beginning and both the end which gives us the infinity which gives us God and creation because creation is infinite the universe is infinite it has no beginning it has no end it's the same it's the beginning is the same as the end the end is the same as the beginning and that's another interpretation of the full card so just being aware of these things can help you define what is it that you need to do 
in order to start your transformational journey. And I challenge you after you watch this, I challenge you to just sit down by yourself or go for a walk like, like me, like, like go for a walk anywhere away from people. Like you see around me, there's not many people here. You see, there's not many people around me. There's a beautiful doggy that's right there. I'm gonna show Can you guys see him. <laughs> but there's not many people so go somewhere by yourself I challenge you and just think about what is it that you want to do what is it that you want to become ask yourself the question who am I what do I want to do in my life what do I want to become why did I come here what's my purpose and what makes me happy what is it that fulfills me every single day? What is it something that I can do every single day and feel fulfilled and feel happy? Ask yourself these questions. If you can't answer them for yourself, go to a reader, have a consultation. It could be with anyone. Just follow the guidance that comes to you from spirit, from the universe, and go to your favorite reader, someone that, re that resonates with you get help see if someone can help you answer those questions because my dear friends it is so necessary because if you're not able to to answer those questions you're gonna be stuck where you are and if you can find answers to these questions then the next phase is to ask yourself how can you apply what you are to your daily life okay you want to be a tarot reader are you reading tarot every day are you learning tarot? Um, are you giving free re tarot readings in the beginning as a practice? We know that to be a good tarot reader or to be a good healer, you need to connect to nature. You need to harness the, the energies of nature. So how can you apply that? Are you connecting to nature every single day? What are you doing to connect to nature? Ask yourself these questions. Okay, another thing, are you eating healthy? Because how can you consider yourself a healer or a channeler or a reader and then you just came from a burger joint or from a pizza joint how, ca how can you even allow yourself to say such a thing it's not respectful to you or to your spirit or to your higher self you are for sure disrespecting your higher self by eating a burger an oily burger with oily fries and a, and a soda or a pop and then going home and saying I'm gonna channel spirit you are disrespecting your higher self so much and that session or that channeling is gonna be whack and it's probably not gonna be good and maybe you're gonna do it for someone and they're not gonna like it and that's already interrupting your journey it's setting you back two three steps backwards and you don't want that you can't you're addicted to junk food you're addicted to unhealthy food start cutting down start baby steps cut down on the bad things cut down on the sugars cut down on the oils cut down on yeah you cut you can cut down on the meat sure but start eating cleaner don't use oils don't use sugars don't use artificial chemicals don't use these like things that are just processed disgusting things that that any living being is not supposed to to ingest baby steps but do something to take action on your transformation show the universe that you're willing to transform show the universe that this is serious for you show the universe that this is what you want in your life for me it was so hard because sometimes I remember I used to slack with my journey guys I used to slack with my journey and it hurts me I'm saying it right now and I feel pain inside when I say that you know why because the universe gave me so many opportunities to prove myself the universe was testing me so many times and I was reckless I was reckless and I didn't pay attention and I didn't care but you know what I paid the price for that and the universe reminded me every time I gave you that chance and you missed it and you slacked and you didn't do the work and you didn't show me that you were willing to transform so here you go pay the price and I pay the price this is what happens you pay the price and you fix those mistakes 
you keep fixing them over and over and over and it takes a long time and you show the universe here I'm changing look at me I'm not repeating the mistakes I'm changing I'm not that person anymore I'm not doing those toxic behaviors anymore and then the universe then it gives you a second chance that's for me that's how it has been but every time I mess up I get punished for it and I can hear my higher self saying during those times I can hear my higher self saying I gave you the chance you disrespected me you didn't take action on it you knew that's what you were supposed to do but you went the other way so here's some punishment phase and that punishment phase can be like lack of abundance uh, lack of guidance lack of direction not knowing who you are anymore and those are the worst phases those punishment phases are the worst but the moment you fix try to fix those phases and work on yourself then the universe gives you another chance and is like okay I see that you're ready let's see what you got show me and then you show again okay I see that you're not eating the bad foods anymore I see that you haven't touched junk foods or oily foods or processed foods I see you haven't touched them for three months all right I'm gonna start giving you more abundance for what you're doing but you gotta show me how long can you do this and then you do it you do it you do it and then it comes a day when you can't stand or when you're tired and you start BAM and then you go ahead and indulge in old toxic habits the punishment comes again and it's a cycle it repeats over and over and over and over until you fix these things slowly but surely and that's why the transformational journey takes a long time is because of what I just mentioned because it's you fixing and improving but then going backwards it's like two three steps forwards one step backward two steps forward one step backward two steps forward one step back that's why it takes a long time because you're always working on yourself you're always trying to adjust and fix the bad traits the toxic behavior um, if you have anger issues same if you're gonna keep just having a bad temper and not trying to fix that try to transmute it into something beautiful I've talked about this before where you can just do an activity where you can transmute that anger into something positive that activity I don't know it could be running it could be CrossFit it could be heavy weight lifting it could be I don't know it could be sailing it could be just some intense activity and you transmute that anger into something positive and then you you realize that you're not angry anymore that you're not having a temper with people anymore so they remember that the universe is going to test you and it's going to give you many chances but then it's gonna see your progress and every time it sees that you haven't learned the lesson it's gonna keep you stuck at that same place until you learn the lesson and then you can move on because I'm speaking from personal experience this has happened to me so many times if you make a mistake and you know what kind of usually you would know that mistake you would know it you would know that mistake and the moment you make that mistake and you know you're repeating that you know you're gonna repeat the cycle you know you're like here we go again the universe is making me repeat the cycle because I haven't learned I haven't learned from my mistake but then the beautiful thing is once you show the universe that you have learned and you're not repeating the mistake you start moving on again you start moving forward all right so I hope this is helpful let me know in the comment section if you learned anything from this if you uh, if you have any questions about your transformational journey because doing tarot readings is important but I also want to help many of you transform because transformation is key for humanity to move forward in the direction of love of joy of happiness of not harming each other transformation is key be becoming aware is key if you're not aware you will never transform aware of what aware of everything aware of life aware of aware of the ocean aware of the ocean aware of the animals aware of the fact that 
we're not supposed to hurt, to hurt each other, we're not supposed to harm each other. The fact that we're all the same, we're all the same. Underneath this skin is blood, it's blood that runs in all of us. Uh, and I want to help you accomplish your transformation by showing you my transformation. <laughs> Because I cannot change you, I can't change anything about you unless you're willing to change that about yourself. I can't do anything for you, but you have to be willing to change. It starts with you. So hopefully by showing you a little bit of what I do, of my life, hopefully that can help you think about your life and how you can change your life. And change, listen, nowadays in social media, I want to clarify this, it's not about becoming a billionaire, making, because that's all you hear nowadays, and it's the wrong direction, it's, it's, it's even worse. It's the opposite of transformation, it's the opposite of alchemy, it's the opposite of enlightenment. So every guru you hear out there is about making millions of dollars. Oh, you have to transform and be successful by making millions, by making billions, by becoming a rich person what is going on with the world what's going on that's not transformation transformation is on a soul level it's on a spirit level it's also on the physical level but it it's not tied to millions and billions of dollars why is it always tied to millions of dollars or if you're not a millionaire if you're not a billionaire that's it you're a loser you're not successful what is this madness what's happening in the world <laughs> so I'm trying to share this with you because tarot readings, yes, they're good, but behind the scenes, this is what you get behind the scenes. It's what I'm telling you right now. But I'm going to share this also on my other uh, channel, Seth Mage. It's where I share my travels and how I explore the world. If I go to a country and I see something interesting like a temple, it's usually temples and ancient sites, usually or a beautiful uh, uh, nature or something similar I share it with you in that channel so check it out Seth Mage link in the description box below thank you very much and I hope you love this view and I wish you an amazing day